Good morning, this is Heather. I just wanted to share with you um, a journal that I made for the Alice in Wonderland uh, junk journal swap on Junk Journal Junkies. Um, I was really excited about this one. I uh, love Alice in Wonderland. So um, with this one, I decided to go a little bit different. Um, I used a kit called Dark Alice from Digital Curio. And then Louise Heisel um, also has a really cool artsy kit. And I did use a, a few elements from her in this journal as well. So on the front cover, I decided I wanted it to look like Alice was kind of following the rabbit down the rabbit hole. So I just went ahead and took some craft paper here and did some texture paste and tried to make that look like the rabbit hole. Um, I made some little mushrooms out of clay, added some little uh, paper flowers that I had gotten that Tuesday morning and some butterflies as well. And then here, um, I did just hand dye some uh, sari silk and, and I did purchase that from Victorian Gypsy Girl on Etsy. And then here is the little tass or charm that's attached. And this one has just some pearls and a key in the heart, a little clock. Um, this says dream with a little butterfly. And then I just have some little flowers and bits and baubles on there. So that is detachable too. You can just untie that if you don't want that on your journal. I just have a hitch post here. There are two signatures and I believe there's 84 total pages in here so we'll take a look inside i'm going to quick flip through here i just put a library card on the front and then this is just a trifold tag and i put a little clock there did a little collage at the top just a picture of alice kind of falling down the rabbit hole. And I did my best to keep this in chronological order. I don't know if I did a perfect job, but um, to the best of my knowledge, I did keep it in chronological, chronological order. Sorry, I can't talk. And here I just did some different um, papers, kind of roughed up and then uh, stamped on there. I believe I saw this on Musings by Nikki on YouTube. She does amazing journals and I just think she had a page that kind of looked like that that I got inspired by. I did do some stamping. This is one of the book pages with a little bit of gesso over it. And then here on this tab I just put a little key and then this is a keyhole and then there's just a tag inside with a little rose charm on there. And this was the drink me um, when Alice is drinking that and then the eat me. Um, so I did put a little cake on there. Here, this is the pool of tears and then I just have a couple of tags in there. Um, I like this paper. It had the little, I think it's raindrops, but I kind of thought of it as teardrops for that little bobble on the side. Okay, on this page I did, I have a little wax seal of Alice and the rabbit. So that is the center of the first signature. And then this is just blank inside. This is when she gets big at the rabbit's house. Um, I just have a card with Alice on there. And this is one of Louise Heisel's um, jar tags. And this is one of the pieces of hers as well, pieces of ephemera. Just a little collaging on the tags here. And this page, um, this is again Louise Heisel, 
And what I did here is I made this so that it opens. And so there you can put a picture or journal. And then I've got a bunch of little tags there. And then also there is a little tuck spot behind. So you could put some secret journaling or whatever you wanted back there. Collage work here at the top. And then on this page, this is just a little, um, this is one of those Target seed packets that I collaged over. And then there's a, a tag inside. Altered paper bag and then just a tuck, excuse me, tuck spot on the side and a journaling card in inside the bag. This also can be a little tuck spot if you'd like to tuck something in. And then we're getting into the Mad Hatter's Tea Party. Um, what I did here is this is a little um, tea bag um, envelope. And then I made a little um, tag inside that looks like a tea bag. This just kind of tucks in and out. So if you don't want that in there, you can take that out. And then inside the teacup, I do have a couple little tags as well. This got really chunky. So, you know, it might be something that you want to take some of the ephemera out of. There's the Duchess with a journaling card, another journaling card. Here is the Cheshire Cat. And then I have this cute little fuzzy pom-pom bead. This just flips up. And then I just have kind of de depict when she goes back to the garden. And then this is smile and crazy on it. And then when she's um, playing croquet with a flamingo. Just kind of a blank area so that you could journal or, you know, pictures or whatever you wanted. This is the second signature center. And then an envelope and a little heart and then the mock turtle and the griffin and then this is just a side pocket I just put a little extra piece of paper in there and then I got the rabbit and the, this is the Knave of Hearts and the Trial. And I've got the cards here that are painting. And I like this page. You can tuck something in between all of these if you'd like. Just a little collage work in the corner there. And this is when all the cards are kind of fluttering at Alice before she wakes up from her dream. There is a tuck spot under here and a tuck spot here. And then this is the last page. Again, this is Louise Heisel. And then I just did a collage tag. It says, follow your dreams. And then on the back here, there's a little tuck spot here, tuck spot here, and then a tuck spot on the side. So thank you for watching.